How's it going guys? Today I've got a quick video here and this is going to be on my Tegra Note 7 um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a factory set, how to get into stock Android recovery to factory set or possibly apply a OTA update. Um, so right now I'm running a completely stock system. Um, I do have root access on it but everything else is stock. Now you can see I've got a couple applications downloaded and we're actually going to do a factory reset. Uh, also this is running right now, going to about tablet. Android 4.4.2, which is KitKat, newest OTA update that just got pushed out today. Or not today, just a couple days ago, actually. Um, so, normally you can factory reset by going into settings and going to backup reset. And then right here, click factory data reset. It'll wipe the device completely back to factory. And you will be um, like, it, like it is new out of the box and go through your setup initial logins and everything like that. It'll erase all your passwords and all your applications. You'll be back to stock. So that's an option right there. If you have stock Android recovery installed, you can hit that button and do that kind of reset. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and power the device off. And we're going to get into stock Android recovery. Um, and I'll show you the features in there and we'll discuss them once we get this thing powered off. So basically to get into stock Android recovery, you have to be in a powered off state. So sometimes if you're in a boot loop or something like that, you might have to power it off and then try to get it so you can get into recovery and do a factory data wipe and maybe get the device booting. But what you're going to do is you're going to hold volume up and power. And this is going to boot you into bootloader mode. And then you're going to scroll down with volume down, down again to recovery kernel, highlighted in green, and then hit power to select it. And this is going to get you into um, stock Android recovery on Tegra Note 7. Now, it's very important that you guys understand this next step. This is where I even got hung up on it, is you have this Android guy on his back, and it should say, I think, no command on it also. Um, so this doesn't actually do it, but, but whatever. So basically, we got to get to the next screen. To get to the next screen, it's pretty simple. You just go ahead and you hold or push volume and power at the exact same time. And there you go. That is stock Android recovery and you scroll with your volume up and down and you select with power so what we're going to show you is you've got a couple of options here you can go ahead and um, reboot the system now by hitting power you can scroll down to apply update from ADB and it'll connect to your computer and then you can push files over that way you can apply update from external card so that's what I would do if you want to apply the OTA the latest OTA um, you can download it from my server Put it on your external card, click this, find the update, and apply it. So actually, I'll show you. I think mine's on here. Let's see. Yeah, it is right there. So you could just highlight that right there, hit power, and it'll go ahead and apply that OTA update. So if you want to go back, though, I don't know if you can even go back. Let's see if you can do it. Yeah, you can. So just go up there. And then last thing we're going to do is you can do... Um, there's, there's wipe data factory reset, but we're going to actually check out this one. This is called wipe cache. So if your device is running a little slow or acting up, you might want to run that. And it doesn't actually wipe anything off your device. It just wipes this kind of like virtual memory, if you want to understand it like that. And it'll get repopulated when you reboot the device. So that's really safe. It won't hurt anything. Sometimes speed up your device, make it run a little better. But we're going to do a full data um, wipe data factory reset. And this is what you'd want to run if you're stuck in a boot loop or you just want to reset this thing back to factory. And we'll go ahead and hit power. Scroll down to where it says yes, delete all user data. So this will delete all your applications and your passwords and bring it back to factory stock. Understand that wiping data factory reset will not, if you're on a custom ROM, it will not restore stock system. It'll just, if you're if you're on a custom ROM, it'll just wipe the data on that ROM. So, so that ROM will be reset if you use stock recovery on a custom ROM. You should never do that. You should probably have some kind of like clockwork mod recovery or something like that in there. But if you did, that's what's going to happen. So let's let this thing finish up here. It will take just a little bit to format data and then it's going to actually format cache also. It always does both when you do a factory reset. Alright, so this is going to take about a minute and a half You did to do uh, data and now it's, it's formatting cache partition. Cache is normally really quick. There you go, it is. So you're reset. Now you can just hit reboot system now by clicking power. And you're going to reboot your device. First boot up after a normally a reset is going to take a, maybe a little longer than a normal boot up. 
just because it's it's rewriting that cache and recreating things because you just reset it all. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once it boots up, you go through your initial setup. Very simple, that's how to get into stock Android recovery. Um, honestly, it's the same way to get into it if you have a custom recovery. So know that too also. Um, pretty much it. So hope you guys like this video on the Tegra Note 7, NVIDIA Tegra Note 7. Getting into stock Android recovery, resetting, factor reset. If you guys want to see more videos on this device, please subscribe to my channel. I have I cover the this device, Integra Note 7, and many, many other ones. Um, so please check them out. Subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and all those fun things. There you go. You're fully rebooted, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.